Uh, welcome to a demonstration of the Netbooking's online tour booking system. Uh, this is the dashboard where we can see any recent uh, activity and online sales. Uh, let's have a look at the tour calendar. As you can see, we've got some charters set up and dinner cruises. We're going to make another booking in the four hour fishing charter for two people at 7 a.m. So they're going to assign a guest, they're a regular client, using our client database. Select on the guest. Well, they're going to make a payment. This is, would be an over the phone booking, uh, pay by FPOS, click make payment. And our payment's recorded. Uh, if we click on the notes tab uh, we can see that a confirmation has been automatically emailed out to the guest uh, we can put a booking on hold uh, should somebody uh, not have paid yet we could say okay i'll put it on hold till tomorrow morning and then at that point in time uh, if the wasn't booking wasn't paid in full it would expire and email email the client uh, and you we can also assign a booking type uh, maybe they're coming for a bucks day Click save. Uh, this can be used in our marketing reports. Your business may also sell extra things such as hire of equipment or t-shirts or caps. Let's have a look at that. Let's uh, purchase a couple of t-shirts. Click add. Return to booking. Of course that would need to be paid on the day. We can see that there's $70 owing. You can override the price of any booking just here. Tour cost. We'll set it at $500. Click Save. Notice the price lock has come on. We can now change the number of guests, say for example, to 10 people. And we can see the tour only has six remaining places. So we'll change it to six. And that now allows us to have uh, a special cost just for those six people. Rescheduling is very common. Click on Move. Select our next option, uh, which will go for the Monday the 1st. And that particular booking's been moved. If we click on the notes, we'll be able to scroll down and see the date time's been changed. We can add more guests to this booking. Add additional guest. We'll use the database again. Click on the name. So now we've got two people's names for that booking, uh, basically building up your database. Click on Tour to view all the bookings. Here's a summary screen of all the bookings for a tour. We can click on Tour Sheet, which is a printable version, which very useful, could be handed out to, uh, to the charter boat driver, for example. We're going to take a quick look on how to schedule tours. As you can see, I've got four hour fishing charter uh, at 7 a.m on the 29th and the 30th of July. We're also going to schedule at 1 p.m. So we use the tour wizard. So we select the four hour charter. Uh, select the tar start time of 1 p.m. Uh, starting day and ending day, 30th. Click schedule tours. It informs us that the tours will be created. Click Schedule Tours again. We'll go back to the calendar. We've got a green confirmation here. Go back to the calendar. And we can see we've now got 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. tours. When people book online, each guest is required to have their, uh, their name entered and also any questions that you require the answers for. For example, diet requirements as per this screen here. Let's take a look at how it all comes together on the online booking screen via your website. Let's select the four hour fishing chart at 1 p.m. for two people, make booking. We get a summary of the booking here. We could add children if we want. Click proceed. Uh, we can also sell the t-shirt with the logo as per the back end. Click add service. Proceed. At the guest sign-in screen, regular clients can use their email address and a password, or they can sign up here. 
And as you can see, the diet requirements for both guests would be answered in this select box. In this case, we'll log in. So our details are retrieved, and as you can see, uh, the regular client here, we know that that person's gluten-free, so there's no need for them to re-enter that. We'll enter an another name. Diet requirements of none. Uh, we don't have to enter a mobile. We've got the contact person or the main person booking. Agree. We've got terms and conditions link here. And we must agree to the terms and conditions to continue. Then on the checkout, we can pay via a gift voucher, enter a promotional code or credit card. We've had a brief look at the tours module. Networking has other modules such as point of sale system, accommodation, spa and beauty, a booking wizard that ties it all together, gift vouchers, a searching system. We support booking agents and we have many reports. If you'd like a free trial or any more information, just visit our website on netbookings.com.au.